Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite and in this video I will show you 5 different cool features for Note shelf. So let me open it. So when I open it, it will be uh, something like that. And if you want to open a new uh, book or you want to create a quick note, so you go here and then you can see here quick create option. So just start with this. So you can open any template and you can change the template as well. So the first feature that we're going to talk about is image editing option. So for example, if you want to put an image into your notes, so you can do it by just going here, you can see this a plus sign uh, icon just select it and then the second option from here okay and then go to the photo library so once you click this photo library option it will take you to your gallery or where all of your photos uh, are present so for example uh, I select a random photo for example I select uh, this one so it will bring into uh, my template or my page so now you can see it here you can also make it bigger I will show you so you can also make it bigger like that and you can also edit this photo so how to edit you just uh, tap on the photo and uh, you will see an option over here edit so just select this edit option so I select this edit option now it will take to a new page where you have all the editing tools so for example if you want to crop your photo so there is an icon for crop you can use this one and you can make it like that okay so you can make it small or you can make it big as well and the other thing is if you want to erase something you can use this option and then you said okay and then you can start erasing for example if you want to erase some of uh, the text over here so you can do it you can see it over here so now I can erase it as well you can see I can erase the text if I want or if I want to erase some of the part of the photo I can also do it the other uh, thing is the uh, cutter so for example I select this cutter option so if you select this cutter option it give you the uh, it give you the option that you can cut uh, your photo from wherever you want for example I start cutting from here you can see this solid line okay so if I want to cut this part okay so it will enable me to cut it you can see it over here and then I go all the way to the top so you can see this solid line it enables you to cut your image or cut your photo so like that okay so uh, once you've done it you can uh, use this apply button just click on this apply button and you can see all the all the photo has been cut now and then you can press the done and then it will take back uh, to your main page where if you want to edit more you can edit more as well and then you can work on your um, uh, on your text or whatever you want to write you can write it here you can take your notes it's very easy so uh, you it's very useful option that note shelf is giving the second thing that i want to talk about is selection tool so the selection tool option is over here you can see it so once you do it it's uh, up to you whichever area you want to select so you, it gives you the option for example i want to select only this area you can see it over here so it enables me to only select that specific area you can see it over here now I can cut it I can delete it for example if I want to delete I just click it over here and then it delete that certain area so this is very useful thing the other thing uh, is about also related to the uh, selection tool uh, it's about converting your handwriting into the text so you can convert your handwriting for example if I write anything over here you can convert your handwriting into the text guys so you have to use this same tool which is called a selection tool so you just select the selection tool and then select the area or select the uh, handwriting area which you want to convert so for example I want to convert this whole area so I select it and then it gives me the option over here it says to text so it means it will convert your handwriting to text so let me just click on this so I convert um, this 
this handwriting you can see it over here my handwriting has been converted and then you can see option over here convert to text box so I just select this one so now you can see it, it is it gave me the option to convert my handwriting and uh, it converted the handwriting into the text if I don't like this one I can also edit it by double click on it and I can also write on it and I can you can see I can write more by using the keyboard okay and I can also reduce the size for example from here I can also reduce the size okay you can see it over here so this is really a cool feature also if you want you can also change the position of your text from here okay guys and then if you want you can change the style as well for example if you want this style you can also have this style as well so there are a lot of options that you can use the other thing that i want to talk about is undo and redo option so for example if you want to undo what you did is you can use this option over here you can see this one so you can do the undo and redo option from here you can see it here and then and there is a redo option as well so once you uh, click it multiple times it gives you the redo option so you can see it over here so it is so if I start doing the redo option it will bring back the old uh, thing that I did for example like that I am redoing it so it's a very useful and very um, uh, important feature that you are using in doing in your notes okay guys and the last thing that I want to talk about is if you want to change the position of your page for example you have different pages over here you can see there are different pages and uh, you want to change the position so you have to go over here you can see this option finder option just go over here it will show you how many pages you have so currently I have only two pages and if I want to change the position of those pages I can easily do it I just select this one okay for example I want to bring it down so I will bring it like that and from here I can change the position of my page and you can see it also changes from here so this is also very useful uh, feature so these all um, five feature that I want to show you guys and I hope these are really helpful and I hope you like the video and please do subscribe to ch my channel guys thank you very much